Hi, I'm Tara and I'm here to give you your hope for today. I want to talk to you today about the story of Rachel. Rachel was the second wife of Jacob and she longed to have a child of her own, but couldn't. Rachel was envious because Jacob's first wife, Leah, had given him four children while Rachel remained childless. The heat gets turned up a little more when we learn that both Leah and Rachel gave their two maids to Jacob, who ended up giving birth to two children of their own in an effort to fix the situation. The story takes a shift with the passage that reads, then God remembered Rachel and opened her womb so that she could conceive. Rachel ends up giving birth to a son and then another later on. The word remembered in Hebrew means to bring someone to mind and then act upon that person's behalf. There are times in our lives when it seems like our prayers are just not getting answered, like life is stagnant and that God has completely turned a deaf ear to us. And just like Rachel, it seems like everyone else around us is getting the very thing we've been praying so hard for. I don't know what that is for you. Maybe it's a job promotion or a new house or car, or maybe it's for a loved one to get saved. It can even be for a child of your very own. During those times, we may be tempted to believe that God doesn't care or doesn't love us. We may take matters into our own hands and try to fix the problem ourselves. We may even get to the point where we want to walk away from that dream or even abandon God. Rachel's story is just one of many where God acted on behalf of someone to answer a long awaited prayer. In fact, if you Google the phrase, God remembered, several names of individuals in the Bible will populate, including Noah, Daniel, Elizabeth, and others. What do you need God to remember for you today? When you feel the heat getting turned up in your life, when the unanswered prayers persist, I want to encourage you to not give up on God. He cares about you and he also hears your prayers. The Bible says, for the eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous and his ears are attentive to their prayers. That word attentive means that he is eager to answer. I believe that if you continue to pray, you will not only develop a deeper relationship with God, but that God will eventually turn his attention to you and act on your behalf.